couple of minutes on the ship to start half an hour. figuring. Oh, half an hour. Oh, okay. So some people know. Chansey probably came up to you with a curious looking at Hey. Thank you very much, Kat. Hello, welcome to Adventurers Wanted. What are we doing here? We're playing a tabletop role-playing game. In case that is uh, gibberish to you, let me explain a little. Uh, the people to my left and right are players in and play characters in a universe that uh, I play the rest of. So the islands they visit, the people they encounter, the monsters they fight. I deal with all of that. They tell me what they want to do, and we use elaborately complicated dice to roll and see if they achieve it successfully, with a roll of 20 plus normally being very positive, or fail spectacularly with a roll of one being calamitously hilarious, which has happened a few times this morning and has led to some interesting plot points, which I'll get to in a second. So, I can't condense 213 hours of plot into 30 seconds. I'm not even going to try. What I will do is give you a pressy, an overview, and if at any point you are confused about something or would like more input, audience, stream, please put it on the chat. Audience, please uh, shout out. That is absolutely fine. You are absolutely welcome to ask questions. This is a relaxed performance, as Kat said. So no, no, don't shout from the audience rules here. In short, the four players to my left and right are crew members of the naval research vessel, the Spirit of the Horizon. The Spirit of the Horizon was transported from its home plane of existence to a new one by casting a spell they read on a magical stone tablet. They cast the spell on said stone tablet to escape an ancient evil that they awoke by taking the stone tablet away from an old temple. That ancient evil appears to now have ravaged and destroyed their world as the captain of the ship found out after being teleported back by accident. He is now still there. The rest of the crew are trying to make their way home. In doing so, they have encountered numerous races, species, uh, pirates, gods. There's been a whole 212 hours of this, so a lot has happened by this point. At this moment in time, they have realized that a similar stone tablet exists in this world. They have found six pieces out of a total of seven, and the seventh piece appears to be in this underground, underwater lair of a gigantic dragon turtle, so a very big turtle. Um, they have been trying to find said turtle, as they fight their way through this mountain. In doing so, they have discovered that the turtle is being controlled by a water genie known as El Dunalid. They have encountered El Dunalid, who appeared to be far too powerful for them to deal with, and he and the turtle went further into the temple, further away from his throne room. They have since tried to make their way out, fought some pe shark people, got stuck, made their way forward again, found a map, and are now appear to be making their way through to this lair to try and defeat the dragon turtle itself. In doing so, they are currently in a temple to this dragon turtle, the shark people worship it, and are currently mid-combat with some priests and some of these shark people. There are currently two of them left as people are going to be teleported in. It appears that the teleportation spell that affected the ship at the beginning of the story also affects it on the top of the hour, every hour. <laughs> So as players come into this table, weird that, isn't it? It's weird how that happens. But yes, it appears that, that is happening as we start the story. So can we introduce from left to right who your characters are and what their roles are on board ship? Um, I'm Chloe. I'm playing Laura, who, well, was the commander of the ship. She's been having a series of very bad days, including accidentally teleporting the captain back to their home plane. That happened um, today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so technically captain, she thinks. Um, she's just struggling with a lot of stuff right now because he was also kind of like a weird father figure to her that they were having a lot of fights and just emo it, her emotions seem to be affecting a lot of her dice rolls okay. at the moment <laughs> and she's not doing so great. This is true. 
Hey, I am Chaz, and I am Cruard Gregarian, who is a half-orc monk, uh, kept himself to himself on the ship, but very much a gentle giant, a good listener. Um, and he's, uh, he, he's, he's just trying to make the best of a bad situation, <laughs> as lawful good people tend to do. <laughs> My name is Simon. I'm playing a character called Nomi Watts, who's a gnome, and a fighter, and uh, not a very, not particularly nice gnome. He's best known for starting an illegal gnome fighting ring at the below decks, which was swiftly shut down. And uh, he's ready for action. You're just two feet of martial prowess and rage, aren't you? Yeah, and, and two foot tall. And whipping. And whipping. Lots of whipping. Lots of whipping. Yeah. <laughs> Castlevania, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> I am Emily. I'll be playing Peter, the halfling rogue. Um, she was a chef on the ship and got dragged into the fighting a lot and negotiation sometimes. Um, and now she cooks stuff to help her allies as well as being a rogue. Yeah, our cook has gained some weird mystical cooking powers thanks to a pact with a god. And it's had some interesting effects so far. We'll probably get more of those this hour, I hope at least. Mm -hmm. Before the teleportation takes any effect, I'm going to jump back in time a little bit, because I think this is a moment worth doing. God. I think we need to have some very sad music, Kat, if you'll allow me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rilora, the last time you were here, you were helping deal with some of these shark people, and then you were teleported away, as is wont to happen in this crazy, magical, mystical story we find ourselves in. You were teleported back to the ship. What happened? Um, she sang a brief song to herself to cure wounds uh, with her magical mantle, so that's what that does, um, because she was, she was still harmed from the fight. Mm -hmm. She then, uh, I think she went to the captain's quarters to see if there was simply anyone there. You make your way to the captain's quarters, now presumably abandoned. I mean, you don't expect to see anyone in there. As you get to the door, you realize the door is closed and locked. In through the windows, like, looking? Uh, inside, um, the captain's pet griffin that um, saw it as his um, mama is not inside. She's taken roost up in one of the um, one of the sails because she is far too big to fit in the cabin anymore. But uh, Brother Jürgen, the ship's cleric, is in the captain's quarters, just napping. I, I rap on the window to try and wake him up. Right. Make a strength check to be loud enough to wake up Jürgen. <laughs> Critical failure. He doesn't seem to be waking up. <laughs> and he I looks like he's pretty sauce. I can't message a sleeping person. Of course you can. Oh, okay, I message him. What do you say? Wake up, Jürgen. Uh, Pat, what's going on? Uh, hello? Pat, is that you? I wave at the window. <laughs> oh, right. Goes to the door. I bastard. Chancy two. The door opens. Chancy 2 is the password for the door. <laughs> Relora, what you doing? Is the captain not back with you? Is he still down there? He's not down there. Right. Is he on the ship somewhere? Jürgen. The captain has gone home. What? We were fighting and spells were cast. And he's gone home. He, he's at least home. Nomi, you're around and walking across deck as you hear this. What? How? Spells didn't quite realize how powerful they were. Well, I mean, how powerful are we talking? Can you bring the ship home? Can you, can you bring it, us? It was by accident. It, <laughs> There, there are different effects. I didn't realize I wasn't even aiming for him. Of course, I wasn't aiming for him. Um, I'd, uh, we could talk to Brina. She, she knows all this uh, kind of power much better than I, but I, I, none of us thought any of us had any kind of power that could do anything like that. Um. Chaz used to play the captain, so I'm going to ask him some questions from the captain's perspective, if that's all right. Yeah. Describe the quarters. What, how have you left it? Um, 
I'm still a military man at heart, and, and because I've recently packed in my drinking problem, it's actually kept in, in a very organised fashion. Mm -hmm. um, what would anyone find if they were to go through your things? Um, <laughs> they'd find my box of medals. Yeah. 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 They'd uh, probably find a series of correspondence that I've got from the university I went to. Like I've probably got my diploma and stuff. They're probably like in, in there somewhere. Uh huh. And then a half-finished, scrawled-out declaration of love for Sammy de Lasson <laughs> in a bottom <laughs> drawer. Sammy de Lasson was the first captain who died in the prologue <laughs> 212 hours ago. <laughs> as in, like, as I just have it, my feelings up. <laughs> I've been struggling with... <laughs> with <laughs> like, I mean, and it's literally just, like about 30 different sentence oh, openings no. and then, and then oh. it's obviously just been put in a bottom drawer. Okay. Um, Jürgen is going through your things at this point, going, right, we should probably look and see if there's anything in here we can use. Does Jürgen come across the box of medals? Yeah, he tosses it to one side. Okay, I go to the box of medals and I take out the medal that he gave me and I put it back in the box. Why? Because it just feels right. As you place the medal the captain gave you to make you feel like you were the commander and you a civilian could be have a role on a military ship back in the box and snap it shut. Naomi, you see her do this. Here, I offer to take the box. The weight I shall just take from you. <laughs> Where are you going to take it? Inside. Yeah, of course. No Is it a deception check? Are you going to sell him? No. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's see if I really understand. Uh, 15. Tell her what you're going to do with them. With the, what, uh, in, what, if she was looking at you, what could she glean from what you're offering right now? She would glean that Nomi's been through a lot and that he understands now that things that people own can <laughs> affect them. And that uh, he's growing and he knows a place on this ship where it definitely will be safe. Where's that? Uh, that's back where the old man bikes were. <laughs> in the room, in the mop <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> no one goes there. No one ever goes no there. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, okay, then Rolo just says thank you. I take it. Okay. Nomi goes off with the medals to put them somewhere safe so that they are kept safe. Jurgen finished with the room, looks up at you and says, Ray, uh, who's in charge? Nobody so. comes back now. <laughs> 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 can, I, can I roll perception for Charlie? Yeah. Yes, you can. Relora is about to come on something regarding that. It's just a straight eight. Chansey is oblivious in her little nest up on the first mast, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah top of the it. first mast. Chansey's oblivious to all of this and uh, doesn't yet know that her mama is gone. Um, so Jürgen just said, he's, technically I am. Okay. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, love, but you're not in the military. I was appointed commander and we no longer have a captain. Right. Um, what are your orders then, Captain? Uh, I wish you to find a spellcaster who can speak with animals to inform Chansey. Who speaks with animals? I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> Some people. Through your and to speak with animals. So would Jürgen know how to? I don't think it's one of his close friends. Okay, then he doesn't. You go, right, I'm not sure who can. We ain't got many druids or rangers on board. If so. necessary, can someone please prepare it? Okay, I can do that for tomorrow. Um, aside from that, we still have crew members who are uh, off ship, so we need to remain where we are. So I'd like everyone to follow the previous orders of maintaining potions on themselves, maintaining weaponry on themselves at all times. Um, I come back. Mm -hmm. I would be very grateful if the two of you would 
formally tell crew members. They need to know it needs to be coordinated somehow so it's not a rumor that simply goes around the ship. We can do that. Right, you are, Captain. Thank you. Uh, Jürgen, can I speak with you? One sec. I'm just going to grab my things because I was living here and I'm guessing you don't want me here in your quarters now. Didn't think so. One sec, starts packing up all his stuff. There's a lot of like... Um, I do this while I walk out. <laughs> <laughs> well, sort of, you know... Uh, Jürgen's a priest of a god that enjoys hedonism, so there's bottles, uh, pipes, all sorts I just, of... I just stand in the same Paraphernalia place, being swept into a bag. Yeah. <laughs> Rolled up his hammock, goes, right, I guess I'll go back to Olmorn's quarters. Uh, okay. You'll do fine, Pet. You were a great commander before. You'll be a great captain now. Hand on your shoulder. How many crew members did we have left alive at the last count? So this is a twelve. Three hundred and forty. Three hundred and forty. Ish. Three hundred thirty-nine. Oh. He doesn't respond to that because I can't, and walks <laughs> out of the room. this. Have you met anyone more strong-willed than her? Nobody, think, nobody thinks about himself. But <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe you're right. Okay. Look, if worse comes to worst, there are other options, but for now, I got no beef with her. Yeah, me neither. You're sat alone. I'm stood. Stood alone in the captain's quarters. All of his stuff arrayed around you. I'm kind of deliberately not touching anything. Mm -hmm. Just stood. What are you thinking? Thinking of how angry he was with me the last time we spoke. As you remember that, you feel once again golden energy swirl around you yeah. as you are teleported. <laughs> Out of that situation. Nomi, it happens to you too. Yes! Come on! Both of you go and reappear. Can we get some combat music, please? In <laughs> an underground cavern with two shark people trying to attack the deckhand oh, monk, shit. friend of yours. <laughs> and apparently there's someone else around, but you can't see or hear them because they are so very sneaky. Right, Pina, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Um, someone's attacking him? Yeah. He is currently her. on a priest. He's hit her twice. She's looking pretty bad. I'm just going to Sure, make an attack roll. Sorry. Headspace. <laughs> make an attack roll. Uh, say 20, not natural. 20, yeah, that hits rough damage. as a sneak attack, because you're hidden. While she does that and arguably murders this priestess, there is one shark person left, Pruard, and the one in front of you is about to get hit by an arrow, so you, which will probably kill it, so there's one behind you about 10 feet away. I'm still held. Oh, you're a held person. Pruard is held in place, is paralyzed, because I just cast a spell on him that I forgot about. <laughs> Nomi, you appear right next to a shark guy <laughs> who, looking rather confused as why you've turned up, because it was fighting a gigantic tiefling barbarian, half demon, half man, <laughs> and suddenly this tiny gnome appears in front of it and you get to attack. What do you want to do? Three attacks. Three attacks. <laughs> Describe those attacks. Uh, I instantly appear, but I unfurl my whip. I get out my rapier, sorry, other way. <laughs> <laughs> and I one whip crack and slash, slash. Roll, for, roll the attacks. So uh, this one's going to be with the whip. Four. While he does this, you can still see him, though you're paralysed, and the woman in front of you who just reached out to you, dunk! Arrow just knocked her out. She is gone. So that's 25. <laughs> uh, uh, a 20, not natural, and a critical fail. So two of those attacks hit. Roll for damage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, six, seven, eight. Twenty-two. So the whip missed and the few rapier strikes hit. Uh, yeah. Well, they're, they're technically. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Interesting. So how do you, how, you've got two attacks. How do you finish this guy off? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Instantly. So I just in. appear and, and I go. <laughs> I'm really angry about the captain and about everything that's been happening. Mm. And I feel the golden energy and I go right. This is time. <laughs> whip out the rapier. Whip out the whip and just slash the shark across the face with the whip and yes. just put that in its cheek. So. And it's sitting there, 
on your rapier. It's leaned <laughs> forward and you're just holding it up because there's no muscle strength in it. It is also dead, dead and gone. So, wipe. <laughs> Back to the creepy music, please, Cat. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha! That's how we start. <laughs> one got away in the water. What? Oh, hi, Peanut. <laughs> one got away in the water. Right, uh, is he still held? Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Still with advantage? Still with advantage. Wait, who's holding him then? Well, yeah, that's, that's what I was like. Is it? That's a natural 19 plus 8. Uh, it fades before the shark priestess falls. So as she falls, you realize that you're back in the room. Oh. And mm. oh, okay. she's gone. Yeah, I want some cheese and crackers. If I have any left. You still have some cheese and crackers left? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can have this. Be yeah, careful. Really... She will bewitch you with her no, cheese and crackers. I will... <laughs> no, but you get... Uh, oh, I don't know who to... Uh, <laughs> it's, I promise it's really good. I trust, Roll an Pe- insight I trust Peanut and she also wants comfort food. Relora, you eat some of these. You get, what was it? A D10. It's Roll a, the D10. A D10 of temporary hit points. Yep. You're cured of any diseases slash poisons and you get advantage of wisdom saving throws. So, Nomi, do you eat these as well? Um, if you see Relora going for them. Well, I don't need healing. It's not that. It's yeah. she offered you food. Oh, yeah, I'll eat it. I'll there eat you go. It. Excellent. Yeah. I can do this once per day, but I can... Heal the amount of my level. Yes, you can. Once per day. Yep. So I'd like to do that now. The monk seems to meditate for a second and <laughs> all of his life force reforms and his body. It's less of the mystical healing energy that you guys have used before. It's more that he literally uses the power of himself to close his wounds up and solve all of his problems. Sorry, that was uh, hit points, advantage on wisdom. You have Sorry. an advantage on wisdom saving throws for it. the next 24 oh. hours. Nice. Is it 24 hours? It's a long time. It isn't. I think it's 24 hours, it's cool. It's Heroes Feast, reskinned. Um, she also gets advantage on perception, on, on persuasion and deception checks against both of you <laughs> because <laughs> she's an evil little cook. <laughs> <laughs> what am I eating? God. Cheese and crackers, man. Cheese and crackers. You know, yeah. you want to take charge now. I was in charge, but I think you're better suited for it unless the captain shows up. <laughs> Insight. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll inside too? Uh, yes, both Rollins, for you as well. Me? 17. No, you know. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, the captain's on up at some point. Of course he will, he always does. No, 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 she's told the other crew members. Yeah. I wasn't on the ship. They're not the there. Crew yeah, crew well, like, she, like, I'm not gonna, we need to, re- she's gonna answer honestly. Okay, go for it. The captain won't be joining us. The captain, the captain has gone home. So he is not here, he's not in danger from anything here, and we will join him as soon as we can. Nonsense. Not on purpose. <laughs> it was simply a, an accident or luck or whatever you wish to call it. He did not mean to abandon anyone, but he is simply home now. But now... It's not the time for mourning. Now is the time for killing shark people. You seem sad, little chef. <laughs> Would you like a hug? <laughs> you just say that? <laughs> <laughs> he comes in and gives you a big hug. Okay. And, unless you don't want the hug. No, it's okay. Excellent. Okay, Would you I also can... like a hug? <laughs> I, I am perfectly right, thank you. All right. We have to keep fighting then. It's good yeah. to get home too. <laughs> Exactly. From what, I saw, right, the, from what I saw on the map, we need to go this way, gesturing. Uh, you, you remember, you have the map in front of you. I, of it's going to be very hard to describe a map this complicated. Um, you recall that there was a pathway from this room into a room to the west of you, mm-hmm. but there's no hole in the wall. <laughs> then we may be lucky. We're all wearing rebreathers, aren't we? Correct. Yeah. They received a sort of strange mask that allows them to breathe underwater from some coral dwarves they met about 50 hours ago. The, le- the, the priestess layer. went that way, probably. The layer is through the water. All right. I shall investigate. I can see in the dark. Do you approve, Commander? I can also see in the dark. We will go together. Can I come? You're leaving the little ones alone! No, you should follow on behind. Okay. We don't need babies. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you are amusing, angry little man. <laughs> <laughs> Not a man. He has a name too, you know. 
<laughs> it's know me once. It's very serious. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I didn't like your fight. You weren't invited. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> For it was a no fight. <laughs> So you want to make your way through the water? Is this all? Just quietly. Gracefully swan dive in. Absolutely. Quietly. Quietly. Yeah. Um, you want to stealth underwater, do you? You want to do some stealthy underwater stealthing? Hopefully. Everyone ever tried swimming stealthily? It's not easy. Um, <laughs> you can all roll stealth with disadvantage if you like. That's fine. Okay. I'll roll stealth. Mm -hmm. Genuinely a disadvantage, 19. <sighs> <laughs> Disadvantage 12. Uh huh. 15. 15. Not 20, but that's not a disadvantage yet. Uh, Go on, do a second 20. 18, so plus, plus 12, 30. Yeah. Nice. 30. Stealthy swimmers. <laughs> well, um, the halfling rogue, to no one's surprise, is like a fish out of water and is incredibly sneaky and well, can't like be seen. A fish seen. in water. A fish surely. in water, sorry. Yeah, a fish in water. <laughs> It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long month. Um, <laughs> like a fish in water just goes in. The monk gracefully swan dives in, and again, nary a ripple. Beautiful. No, me, there's more of a splash, but not a very big one. Relora, yours is more of a... It's not a belly flop. It's not embarrassing, but you just, you just get in the water. <laughs> get in the water. Can I have a look around? In the water. Um, you are in a... Is that a goon show reference? It was yeah. a goon show reference. Yeah. <laughs> I am full of different references. Um, you notice that underneath this lake, it's not a lake. It is a hole in the cavern floor that leads to an underground river. That river doesn't have any space above it, so it is literally just a tunnel of water. Um, it is flowing from west to east. So we've got to swim against You've the You've got to current. swim against the current to get up to it. Okay. Well, let's give it a punt. Yeah, sure. Let's yeah. strength checks to roll against to get up the tunnel. Oh, I used to be strong. You're not now. I'm not now. Still stronger than me. Nine. Nine. 13, 12. Critical success. <laughs> the commander, commander. <laughs> finding some strength in possibly her new role, you don't know, um, reaches out and grabs, who had the lowest role? You did. Know me by the arm as he starts to drift backwards. You all manage to make your way forward slowly, but you are moving very slowly indeed up this tunnel. Can everyone make perception checks for me, please? Oh, now's the time to roll badly. Uh, 12. 10. 12, 10. Nat 20. Nat 20? 11. The tunnel above you, the tunnel in front of you, underwater, is widening out. And you start seeing large piles of broken bits of ship, discarded wood, iron, other detritus. Ships the size of the spirit, like prow pieces. This dragon turtle has had quite a feast, very clearly. And it is all over the bottom of the cavern in front of you. Just broken, shipwrecked pieces everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, make an investigation check. Yeah. I would like to contest this as an annoying lawful good monk. Seven, eight. You can't contest an investigation. You can listen in front of him and go. <laughs> <laughs> an eight. Yeah. Uh, you can't see the bottom of the cavern yet. You want to make your way forward? Yeah. I'll let the others go forward. <laughs> sure. I'm going to keep my eye out because there's definitely at least a priestess in the water. Mm -hmm. Can I swim down to the. Is there a wreck on the bottom? Uh, it's not one wreck, it's multiple, multiple wrecks. Multiple, multiple, multiple wrecks. Can I get we at the end of this tunnel, investigate then? them for any symbols or markings? Um, as you make your way along looking for symbols and markings, you don't see any symbols and markings. Make an investigation check. That's, oh, that's not bad. That's a 22. 22. There are markings around the edge of this tunnel. You realize they're scrape marks. The turtle has had to scrape through this tunnel into this thing to get out. And as you look around, you realize this, this tunnel, underground river that you're in, has a circumference of at least 50 feet, if not 100 feet. This is a big old tunnel. Yet this thing had to scrape its way through to get out. I would like to cast Detect Magic mm -hmm. just as a way <coughs> of hopefully getting any heads up on where the priestess is or a little bit of advance warning mm -hmm. should we come across that it's only 30 feet right? it's only 30 feet yeah. okay as you cast detect magic around you you see various glints from the um bottom of the cavern 
Make a perception check again. Seven. You can't see all the way to the bottom, but there's, alongside a definite visual glint, there is also a magical glint at the bottom of the cavern. So. That's the only one I can see. The only things you can see at the moment, yeah. You wanted to do something, Jeff, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, so, so, so this thing's opened up into a cavern, but it's, it's still... Uh, you're still making your way into the front of where this cavern is. Oh, yes. all right, so we're not fully through. You're not fully through okay, yet, Okay, okay, no. I'll, just, no. I'll, just, I'll just keep going, but yeah. I'm also keeping an eye out for the priestess, hoping that my dark vision helps in this dark underwater tunnel. Mm -hmm. It will do, absolutely. Where are you? Ha! <laughs> uh, that's a five plus eight. <laughs> Thirteen. Yeah. You can see your way into the cavern. It's wider than 30 feet across, so the magic's not helping hugely with this. Yeah. There are so many hiding places, like broken ships, masked hulls everywhere. Like it is, it's not so much swimming into a big open cavern as it's an open cavern full of stuff. It's, it's like swimming through water. a ship graveyard, yeah. It's all filled with water. It's all filled with water, yeah. There doesn't seem to be any air anywhere. Um, the back, at the back of the room, there is a um, another, the tunnel seems to continue back that way. The aperture is much, much smaller. It looks like it's more like sort of 20 by 20 feet. And the water you can see rushing through there, causing this flow of water that forms into the river, is incredibly fast and powerful. Almost like an underwater waterfall, which they do exist, it's weird. So um, you reckon you probably could get up there if you really, really wanted to, but it would take a huge amount of effort. There is no sign of the dragon tail. Are there any more of the big, large tunnels like the one? Is the, is the one that I saw with the scrapes the one that in, or is it the tunnel that you've now come out of the tunnel into the main space? Okay. Which is when it got dark. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are now swimming into the main cavern, and um, the tunnel behind <coughs> you is the only entrance and exit from this room you can see, apart from the tiny one. Very strong water flow. Okay, so they're and there's no way, like, like, there's no air pocket, like this whole Nothing. place. Nothing. No, it's there. completely water. You can see that some of the wrecks have slowly been moving over time and have backed up against this aperture, but they haven't gone through it yet. Why have I, why have I like an explorer's kit? Yeah, you would do, yeah. Oh, so I've got like finding equipment. Yeah, absolutely. Could I literally like, with with like the stuff you used to find the size of mountains, like go up Hi, this tiny is. tunnel? You're absolutely welcome to try, yeah. Mm. And make a strength check with advantage because you're using a climber's kit. Good. <laughs> you start making your way up the small tunnel. It seems to narrow even further the more you go up, and the pressure of water is unbelievable. You're barely managing to hold on. You're, even your rebreather is struggling for you yeah. to breathe, and it's, it's <laughs> clearly very difficult. You've made your way about 10 feet up this tunnel, and it looks like it's only going to get harder as you go. Um, <laughs> everyone make perception checks, please. With a nerd? Yeah. Critical failure. 19 plus 6. Mm -hmm. 17. 17. The two of you see, suddenly from the depths, up swims the Rakina Priestess targeting Relora. She hasn't seen it yet. You both get an attack or an action before she takes hers. How far away is she from me? She is about 30 feet away from me. Shoot. The short bow? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's back. You are oh, not so hidden. she hasn't even, not she's not 30 now. feet away from me. She is 30 feet away from you. You have to take magic on, but you're not looking in the right direction. Critical fail. Um, I, I imagine that I didn't notice this. because You're currently it. halfway up a tunnel to what looks like a waterfall on the surface. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I swim towards her first? You can swim towards her first, absolutely. Won't be a sneak attack, though. No, I don't think so. Um, when I can't sh shout at where Laura, I'm going to run it. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to swim to where Laura like elbow her and then shoot at the priestess. It's too many actions. Too many actions, okay. <coughs> Can I swim in front of Relora and then shoot behind her? You wanna swim in front of Relora and shoot behind her? So she sees that I'm shooting yeah. at something. Oh, I see. I see you want to swim into, into her eye range and yes. then so she sees, shoot at her. Yes. You can, you'll be shooting, no, you can't do a disadvantage underwater. You'll be out of range if you do that. I, but I she's, she's 30 feet from her. No, 30 feet from you. Okay. She's further away. You did just say she's 30 feet from me, but I'm not looking in the right direction for my detect magic. Oh, toy. sorry, then yes, you can do that. Okay. Uh, you're going in front that. of her, it means you'd be five feet ahead of her. This is getting into rules lawyer territory, yeah. just do it. No. <laughs> okay. Half an hour, the same stage as she did. Um, 25 to hit. You're using a short bow underwater, it's with disadvantage. Oh, okay. That's a, what's the, the 18 to hit. You still hit her. Cool. Roll for damage. Just the normal short bow, yep. no sneak attack. That's 10 damage. 10 damage. 
You strike her with the arrow, Relora, you see her pulling out her shotgun mm-hmm. into water and shooting it, so you don't realize something's up, but you won't get an action before this happens. Okay. Naomi, this um, shark woman is swimming up towards Relora. Um, you've just seen Peanut loose an arrow at her. Thank you. Three arrows. Three arrows? Yeah. Might as well, eh? I mean, we're trying to kill this person, right? Yeah. Sure, yeah. I, I don't even know who this person is. <laughs> I just see someone in my... M- loose your three arrows. Roll three attacks with disadvantage. Uh, so roll two, three times. Yeah. Uh, so one is a uh, 11, uh, 16. That hits. One is uh, 17. That hits. And oh, uh, 28. We're not going to roll for damage because she's got so few hit points and those will definitely kill her. So how do your three arrows get rid of this Rapina woman? Uh... I see her swimming, mm-hmm. and I see one arrow go in. So I'm thinking, oh right, this one's this is the one we're trying. To, I just see shark person. Right? Yeah. So I've just killed one, so I'm like, okay, mm. I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Arrow, and I uh, go for yeah, one, two, three, right in the chest. Sure, they all hit, and she mm. small noise you can hear underwater and starts to sink towards the bottom. As you oh. watch her sink towards the <laughs> as you watch her sink towards the bottom. She lands on a gigantic pile of treasure. I swim down to the treasure. I do. do I see him, or am I just halfway up the tunnel? I like. I still up the tunnel. <laughs> no, but, right. Shall I, I, this is basically like I'll solve this, mm-hmm. and then I just let it sort of like. You let go and just fly out. Okay. Uh, you're still too far away to see this because you're a bit further up the cabin at this point. Yeah. It's quite big. Uh, guys, you've seen him go down and start scooping up treasure. It's no turns, so it's just what you want to do. Yeah, I've, I've just kind of done a quick like, what on earth? Because yeah. I don't even see this woman appear, yep. and she's been killed. Yep. Um, and I can only see two people. I can't see three. I, yep. I uh-huh. search her body. Who shot woman's body? Yeah. Nothing much on her. Can I wave at Naomi and I'll talk to you and try and see if it's in case there's something underneath it? Sure. Try and explain that with sign language. <laughs> I take off my breather. Thank you. Yep. Um, and I message Nomi because I have to take off my breather you to do. message him. Um, and I say, there'll be time for that. We're in danger now. Let me make an insight check. You can also psychically message me back. There's a re- you can do a response. Um, nine. Never mind. You can respond to her if you like. I just killed the danger. Am I out of this thing? Yeah, you're now finally there. You're looking down at all of this happening. (laughs) (laughs) I I take off my thing. Dragon turtle. Can I have a look at the Couple more coins when I swim up. I'm specifically looking for any other tunnels or any Mm -hmm. um, mechanisms, I should say, from that. Gears, levers. Sure, absolutely. That sort of malarkey. Yeah, make an investigation check. Four. <laughs> Four. I mean, there aren't any, but you still think there might be, so you keep looking. <laughs> As the monk looks for tunnels and levers, of which I, there are none. Can <laughs> I investigate the pile of gold? Is yeah, please do. Beneath it, or like sure. Like piece of it, like part mm-hmm. of the tunnel. I give some gold to you. And uh, that's better. That's. Uh, 18. 18. Oh, no, right, investigation, so that is 20. 20. As you start digging through the pile of gold, just looking to see what's going on, like just having a quick sweep aside. <laughs> well, no, he <laughs> kneels on it, throwing it up in the air. It's Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge McDuck. Opening in the pockets. <laughs> 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 oh, Peanut, you realize that there's something in the pile of coins. But it's not that big. You can definitely feel some movement. But it doesn't seem to be the pile of gold at all. It doesn't seem to be the dragon turtle you were expecting at all. Even with a 20, you can't quite tell what it is. But there's um, definitely some movement. I'm going to slap Nomi in the arm and be like... Is there still that magical glow from, from further down that I spotted? Yep. Okay, I messaged these three in quick succession. There is something magical down there. I'm going to investigate. Cover me, but don't follow. Everyone make a strength athletics check. Uh, Hello, something's moving. 
16. 14. 14. The two of you manage to hold your own as suddenly the water starts swirling around this cave as if someone has cast a spell on it and the water starts to buffet the two of you who don't manage to hold on or hold your place as you both take 14 points of bludgeoning damage. You both take seven, but you're not held in place. Is that me? Yeah. With 16? Why are you another 14? I rolled a 14. 14, what did you roll? Eight. Oh, I'm sorry, you two. You two are fine. Yeah. Uh, so 14, seven. Thank you. Uh, can we have some more combat music, please? As the water starts to swirl around you, you realize that there is something at the bottom of this, of this whirlpool, and it is not happy, and it has started this whirlpool swirling around can you. I, can I look? You may absolutely make a perception check. May as well. Uh, yeah, the two of you are fine. 27. <laughs> yep. Three. 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 You can't tell what's going on. You see some of the gems move aside and what you have to assume is the water genie, because you've not seen him before, rises out of the pile of gems, orange skin, terrible blue suit, rises out, looks at you, laughs underwater, and you can hear this laugh in your mind, this definite psychic effect, moves his hands above his face and casts a spell, you can't tell what it's doing yet, and starts swimming away down the corridor. Can I, am I close enough to him to get like, an attack of opportunity? No, 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 he's way away from you. Um, I'm start swimming towards him. Yeah. So you use your action to swim in the same direction he's swimming. He is faster underwater than you because he is a water genie, but you do manage to get some distance. Yeah. Uh, do you want to use your entire action to swim, or do you want to take an action? Dart! <laughs> a dart underwater has a range of 20 feet, so no. No, <laughs> no way you're going to hit him with that dart, not a chance. Arrows? You are currently being held by the whirlpool and can yeah, do nothing. Whirlpool. And Peanut didn't see this happen, so that solves that problem nice and easily. Uh, as you make your way away from him, as he swims down the corridor, down the tunnel of water and away from you, and this whirlpool buffets around you, you realise that the water around you seems to be strangely solid. Almost as if it's sentient. <laughs> right, we oh. enter initiative order. <laughs> oh, can I ask something? Yes. I'm happy for you to roll as DM. Yes. Laura wasn't thinking, slash Chloe wasn't thinking. Yes. As to whether Simon came with. I think if he wasn't mentioned, he didn't. Okay. Sorry, I don't way to do that. No, no, that's fine. Did I take the dash action? To you did take the dash action to pursue him. You're now at the, you're now at the mouth of the tunnel. He is way further down it. Um, but you have noticed that in front of you there are seem to be things that are made of slightly too solid water, which could become a problem. Can I punch the solid water? It's not your turn. All right. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will punch the water. I will. Punch the water. Right. I, don't care I need you to make a strength saving throw again. Pruitt? Yes? A strength saving throw. A strength saving throw. Yes, please. Uh, b b b b 15, no, 14. 14. Oh, that's good. It's one too low. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. 8 plus 6. Yeah, that's 14. Yeah. <laughs> you take... Seven points of damage. Mm -hmm. You're currently being held in place in the water by something that appears to be made of water. Um, you are currently restrained by it. Oh, oh great. There's three of us here. At which point, two more of these solid bits of water start moving out across this. You can barely notice them. They're very, very hard to see. Oh, my hubris. <laughs> my Peanut, feet. it is your turn. What would you like to do? Are any of them within 10 feet of me? 10 feet. Blind sense. They're not within 10 feet of you yet, okay. no. Um, and I don't see them. I roll a perception check with disadvantage. Oh. That's not. That's a ten. Uh, the water appears to be somewhat too solid in places, but you can't see it that well. You'd have to get closer to do anything. Okay, I'm gonna swim closer. Okay, you use your action. To, you use your movement to swim closer. Yeah, at which point, the you realize there are things all around you. You could probably try and strike them with your razor if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to then. Yeah, I'm gonna stab with it. Stab? Sure. Yeah. Uh, you have disadvantage on the attack roll underwater, so you have to roll with disadvantage, please. You also can't see it, which give you disadvantage too, but just one disadvantage because you can't stack it. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, fuck you better. We'll fucking so that's uh, 28 to hit. You definitely hit something as you lash out. Roll for damage. Mm, this is not a sneak check. Mm hmm. Okay, so that's 7 damage because I rolled a 1. 7 damage. 
it definitely hurts it and definitely does something to it, but you can't quite tell what it is yet or what it is. With your cunning action? Yeah. Disengage and swim back a little bit? Yeah. You don't even have any movement there, so you just be disengaging and staying where you are, That's which fine. has no effect. Okay. So, Peanut is currently the only one trying to attack as everyone else is being affected by the water. Cruid, it is your turn. You are currently being held in place by this living water. I contest this! You want to contest being restrained? Well, yes. Can I do it in an acrobatic way? No. no. <laughs> it's worth a punt. No. Make an athletics check to try and break this. 17. Right. With a 17, you manage to push this living water off you. That's taken your entire turn to do so, as you've pushed it off you. But you can see in front of you that this creature, you get a sense of this creature, and it appears to just be a mass of living water. And you are now no longer being grappled by it, which is good, because you're also no longer, you wouldn't be drowning if you couldn't breathe water, but you can, so it's fine. Um, Nomi, it is your turn. Please roll a strength saving throw to see if you're still affected by the whirlpool that's also swelling around this entire cavern. Uh, uh, 14, 15, 16. 16. You manage to shake off the effects of this. You can take actions. You uh, still take six points of damage as you get out of this, but you are now no longer being affected by them. So, um, so I'm going to try and see if I can see if any of these water creatures are near me. Yeah, make a perception check. With disadvantage. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Six. Oh, one. That's a four. That's a four. I can't see it. Sorry. Uh, ten. You, c- you get a vague sense. You can definitely try and attack. What are you attacking with? Uh, right here. Cool. You attack with disadvantage. So you make your attack roll. Um, I get three attacks. So... Yeah, you attack three times at disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. The first one was uh, 17. 17 does hit. And, oh, then the critical fail. And a 25. Yeah, both of those hit. Roll for damage on those. Twenty-four. You strike hard with your rapier underwater, doing considerable damage to this creature. It appears to not be too hugely affected by what you're doing, but the magic of your blade appears to be empowering your strikes a little to do more damage than it should have done. So you are very much affecting these creatures, which is good. Rilora, it is your turn. What would you like to do? I need to roll a saving throw. You are rolling a saving throw to make sure you're not affected by the whirlpool. Come on, sweet, sweet zero modifier. Oh! Uh, 16. 16 is enough. You manage to break free of the whirlpool. You are also fine. You can take actions. Uh, have I been able to see the, the people uh, being attacked by water? You have, yes. There is living water around. Roll a perception check to get a sense of where the living water uh, is. It's with disadvantage, because you're underwater. Okay, so that's uh, modified. Modified 20. At modified 20. There are three of these creatures. They are surrounding your allies at the moment, and clearly um, they're struggling to see them and attack them, but they are managing to get through. It is your turn. What would you like to do? Uh huh. She's gonna try something that might kill the body. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I know, because this isn't gonna teleport anyone anywhere. What are you gonna do? Thing. Crash the moon! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Laura has a tendency to do things that lead to the captain being teleported away. Uh, what's the other, what are the terrible things you've done well, over no, the years? Well, no, there's other good things. I transported a giant spider to the ethereal plane. That's so also true. Like I mean, the captain's just... Like That's right. You teleported someone into a creature's <laughs> mouth where it couldn't hurt it. You done what? S- was that you? Or someone no, did that. No, I've not done anything else. Brina burnt my back off with acid. That's right. Anyway. <laughs> Chip of idiots. <laughs> I've no idea. She doesn't know if this is going to work. Good. Uh, it's low spell points, and she has been blasting through them. Um, where, like, how far are the... Uh, they're all about 20 feet away from you, loosely. They're all loosely. about 20 feet. How far are they uh, t- from each other? From each other? Yes. 10, 5, 10 feet. Okay. Right. I'm just double-checking the range on this. Sure. Um, okay, uh, can I get so that I am within, say, 10, 15 feet of them all? Uh, sure. I've got th- 15 feet of movement. If this might affect your allies, it probably they're all within this area as well. Because they're yeah. all individually in combat with individual ones of these. Yeah, but she has healing. So. Cool. Um, yes, you can get to a point where you're in range of all of them. What would you like to do? What, even, even my one? 
Yeah, yeah. You guys oh, are you're no. the you're the vanguard of this three prong where she's now currently setting herself up to hit everything. Even, even swapping character, I can't escape. <laughs> <laughs> Level. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, second level. I mean. Okay. Um, so it's. We're low on time. Three, three D eight thunder wave. A thunder wave, three D eight damage. Um, yeah. What do I have to roll to not be affected by thunder wave? Constitution saving throw. Constitution. Everyone, roll a constitution oh, saving no. throw. Oh. What's the spell DC I'm trying to hit? Seventeen. Twenty-three. One of them is affected fully. Oh, Thirteen. Thirteen. 23, you're fine. 12. 12, 13. You are not. You take full damage from this. You take half. 19 or half is 8. <laughs> right. Um, and also, uh, anyone who failed is pushed 10 feet, but maybe 5 because it's underwater, away from me. Hang on. I'm just going to write down these scores so I get the numbers yeah, right. That That's always a good well, thing to ask. Do they get attacks opportunity on us and maybe fly backwards? No, because they're affected by it as well. Okay, good. Um, Relora swims up and reaches her hands out and claps underwater. And as she does, a ripple shockwave. Instead of it being like sound, like it would be on land of a sort of thunderous roar, you can see this shockwave emanate from her and go out in a cone in front of her. And you are all knocked slightly. Some of you less by this as you're all knocked back and affected by it. Uh, damage is taken by everyone. As this happens, all three of these water elementals as they are. Well, yeah, makes sense. You see faces form in all of them and they all look at you. Yeah, makes sense. And that's where we're gonna end this hour of Adventures Wanted. Thank you so much, guys. I'll hand over to Kat to see us out. Yes, I'm in a sketch comedy double act. We're called Dirty White Boys. Our show is called Stupid. Uh, very silly, fast-paced, Walkman and Wise style sketch show. It's on every day at 20 past 9 p.m. at Just the Tonic at the Caves, which is on Cowgate. Uh, we only have five shows left. It's really good. We've got a four-star review today. Uh, I'm doing two shows at the Fringe. One's called Mars Actually. The other's called The Jurassic Parks. We're on at 7 o'clock in rep. So there's one day's one, the other, next day's the other. And it's on at Assembly Roxy. Uh, yeah, good. Oh, you've seen both? Oh, good. Oh. I, did you join the thing? No. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I have a Deviant Art channel. Um, it's O A Rackberry, which is O A R A C H B A B R I. Um, and I draw D uh, D characters. So if you want a commission done or something, let me know. I do those. There you go. They're really good if you have a look at them. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, Stream. See you in Steve five, ten minutes. Yeah. JJ character, I got us game from the Relora Collateral. <laughs> She's gone from kind of out of the box thing.